Hey guys, what is up? Jawbreakers here. I'm going to bring you guys some Battlefield Beta. Now, I've played Battlefield 2. I've never played Battlefield 1. Battlefield 2 is probably my favorite. It had a lot of customization and a whole bunch of different maps and stuff. I'm, I've played one game of this. I got 501 credits, which I thought was funny because it's a 501st Legion. So we'll go into a walker assault. I've played one drop zone. It's almost like capture the flag. Yeah, I know. Rank up, but I'm not going to rank up because I'm level 2. That And this is probably what everyone wants to see. Walker assault. And of course, it's going to be on Hoth. Although, they have them on other planets. I don't know how much I agree with this game. Because there's very limited planets and not a lot of maps. The walkers I know are on rails where you can't go left and right, just forward and back. And I don't care for that. I like on on Battlefront 2 you could be in the walker and do circles. I really liked that. Um, dismiss. Yeah, I know I ranked up. No, I don't want to match start press to join. There we go. But I really like the fact you could do circles. I feel like it would really make the uh, walkers a lot harder to take down with like snow. Sp well, so you can take down the walkers a lot easier with, with your rope if they're just moving forward and backwards versus. Oh, there's a cooldown thing. So, like, if I'm cooling down here, I'll overheat my weapon. And then if I push square at just the right time, oh, it will, like, make a speed reload. Now, what about if I just spam R2? Okay, no. There we go. Speed reload that time. Oh, I died. I do p prefer the third person aspect because I played Battlefront 2, which was all third person. I loved being the engineer, just throw down health back in front of me. It is sad though, they changed to where, uh, I don't even think you can battle roll in this game, which is really sad. Two health left and ATST on my on its way. I'm dead. As you will be able to tell, I am not very good at this game at all. Well done. We've activated the uplink. Now Let's see. It. It's a very beautiful game though. Graphic wise, it looks great. Anyone down there? No. What if I mount this thing? Can I? No, I can't even aim over there. Where can I shoot? I can shoot at this thing, go. It sounds great, too. I love how they have the actual sound bits. Now, my question here is, can I get into the Hoth hangar? Take down a... Oh. Power-up blaster cannon. Well, how... Oh, that's how I use it. Oh, okay, well, I couldn't. Wait, what was that Y-Wing lock-in? No secondary weapons. Yeah, there's no way to battle roll, I don't think, which is really sad. Um, emotes. I don't care about emotes. I want a battle roll. Uh, okay, well, if I hit down, I can switch my shoulder. It's a little nifty. Yep, no. There's no way to battle roll. So that's nice if you're hiding behind cover. I'm not sure if that's how it works. 
But I know, like, if you're hiding behind cover here, and I need to use my other shoulder, I can flip over. Yeah. See how I named that snow pile with being in cover still? Okay, I need to activate this uplink over here. I'll activate it, then use my cannon. Let's see, how do I activate hold square on it? Yeah, I figured. Under our Can I use this thing? Yes. Okay, where... Any enemies? Actually, I should be able to... There we go. Get out of this thing. I saw him over there. Oh! Oh, get out of this! You're closing in, fast! There we go. Is this the Hoth base? Or is this the secret tunnels that lead to the other ones? I wonder how similar to Battlefront 2 Hoth this is. See, not there. How far do these tunnels go? And there we go. Well, there's no Millennium Falcon back here like there is in the other games. Wait, can I not even... There's that guy. I don't want to mess with him. I do want to roll, though. I hope rolling's in the full game. I also want to get in the snow speeder. My favorite, they're my favorite ship of all type. Now, I don't know how long these matches last. Nor do I know, like, the meta of this game. Oh, someone just got sniped. Oh, I'm gonna guess he got sniped from the ATAT. So, I don't know the, like, is it better to be in first person? Is it just a preference? Does third person matter? I know you don't get as accurate in third person, but I could care less about accuracy as I die there. Like, yeah, it looks good and everything, but it feels too much like every other shooter when I do this. Yeah, I can't even damage that. I think I should at least do one or two damage to the ATAT. -AT. I mean, it wouldn't be broken. Holy crap. You're sniping from quite a distance. Oh, he was behind, okay. So if I'm in first person and switch shoulders. No, you can't switch shoulders, okay. So there's an advantage of third person. Let's see if I can't sneak out behind all these guys. No, the sprint bar with the like battle rolling it was very nice. I think that should come back. I'm getting dominated. No. Also, it's very low time to or very high time to kill. I don't mind that. Now, with something like a ATAT, -AT, you die one shot. Man, that was a good like. Those trenches are really good. They're right at head level. Y wings incoming. Well, we have what five? The walker is exposed. Focus all firepower on it. Okay, we need to attack these walkers. Oh, now I can attack the walker. There we go. So. What's your guys' thoughts on the game? What have you seen so far? I'm dying straight out of spawn again. 
I keep wanting to reload my weapon, which is not how you do it. Boom, there we go. We'll get that kill. And I'll die. I think that's what, my first kill of this game? <laughs> no one's focusing on this guy, so I got him. Boom, you gotta reload right before you hit that uh, cooldown. Oh, that was way too soon. We got this, Walker. We got this. I'll be Luke Skywalker. I'll go underneath of it. Wait, can I actually get... Can I go... No, you can't touch it. That's stupid. I think you should at least be able to touch it. I think you should have to crush you to kill you. Not the other way around. Let's activate this thing. Nope, we just got dominated by the TIE Fighter. And by the ATAT. -AT. So I can't switch my blaster rifle. But I can go to a partner hand. So. Okay, that's how that works. So like I said, I'm still level 2, so I don't have everything. But what do you guys think of this game? What have you seen so far? What do you like about it? What would you change? Let me know in the comment section. I'd like to know how many of us share an opinion on this. But I think more maps that aren't DLC. I know it's DICE, so it's most likely going to be DLC. Okay, I still can't shoot those things. What can I snipe? But more maps, less DLC. Um. Oh, that was a really nice explosion. More game modes. I know there's going to be more than just the two we have right now. But I want Conquest and other game modes that we had back in Battlefront 2. Like, I want space battles. Think of space battles with these graphics. That would be amazing. I guess you can still be quite accurate, even if you're not first person. Yeah, there you are. Headshot. I think space battles would be really good. And also, um, I'm, I can't remember if it's... I believe we're in Galactic Civil War right now. I'm going to get killed for this if anyone knows for sure. But we need both eras, the Clone Wars and Galactic Civil War. Can I sit in here and not be injured? Well, no, I can be injured. I can be injured. But I need... I want Clone Wars and Gla Galactic Civil War. Well, I lost my first match here. But as any Battlefront 2 player knows, it is impossible to win as the Rebels on Hoth. So, thank you guys for watching the first gameplay here of the beta. Go ahead and leave a like down below if you really liked it. But thank you guys for watching. Have a good day, and goodbye.